So Nate Diaz got his ass beat. Yeah, that's what happened. Let's be clear about it. Nate Diaz got beat up and Jake Paul did his thing. But at the end of the day, it was an entertaining fight. And Nate Diaz is so gangster. He's so gangster that he could lose a fight and look like he won the fight in the sense that he's so gangster and his attitude is so dope that he looks good losing. He could lose five in a row and still look like he won or have the attitude of, of I won the fight, right? The guy loses, he gets knocked out and then he gets up and he does this and the People cheer. People love the guy. I love the guy. And uh, I'm going to be true. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The fight wasn't a great fight. Nobody was expecting a world-class boxing fight last night. We were expecting to be entertained, and that's what it did. So opposed to what a lot of people think that don't like these kind of fights, I do. I think these are actually good to boxing. A lot of people say this is damaging boxing. I think it's good for boxing because it's bringing in a new audience and boxing needs that new audience. We have a lot of casual fans. We have a lot of diehard fans, but we need more fans to look at boxing to come over here because the more fans, the more audience, the bigger fights, the more money, the more chance or opportunity for fighters. So yeah, these kind of fights bring in a new audience. I was watching it with my daughter last night. She's 13. She doesn't give a damn about boxing. I mean, she likes boxing. She trains. But she doesn't watch it. She gets bored after a round or two. And last night, she watched the whole 10 rounds. She was laughing. She was having a laugh. She loved Nate Diaz. And that's what these kind of fights do. They bring in a new audience, kids, women, uh, men that don't like sports, men that don't care about. It brings in a whole new audience. And that's fine. It doesn't matter who, as long as people are paying to watch these fights. So hopefully, these kind of fights will create both kind of fights. These entertainment fights and actual boxing fights. We already saw Crawford and Terrence. We saw Tank Davis and Garcia. And thanks to those kind of fights and and these kind of fights, boxing is growing. So regardless if you think it's good or bad, at the end of the day, it's bringing in money and that's what boxing needs. Anyway, the fight was entertaining. I'm glad. I'm glad it went how it did because I didn't want to see Nate Diaz go to sleep. You never want to go go to sleep uh, by a YouTuber. So Nate Diaz did his thing. I feel like Jake Paul held back. To be honest, he could have knocked out. Nate Diaz but he respected him I feel he didn't want to disrespect Nate Diaz like that because in the first round he did and he almost sent him to sleep after that he kind of like settled down he kind of calmed down because Nate Diaz has no defense right at no point was Nate Diaz using master defense classes no the guy was just walking up getting punched in the face and Jake Paul held back. He never threw that haymaker he always does. He never threw the one that he sent Ben Askren to sleep with or uh, Tyrone Woodley to sleep with. So I feel like he didn't want to drop uh, Nate Diaz, which is okay. At the end of the day, it's okay. It looks good for Nate Diaz. He did his thing. He got beat up, but he got beat up in a decent way. He didn't get knocked out. He got knocked down, but he didn't get knocked out. So anyway, uh, I like the fight. I don't care. At the end of the day, it was entertaining, and that's what we pay for. We pay to be entertained. It's a sport. Sports are supposed to entertain. I'm not expecting much more from Jake Paul or Nate Diaz. I was expecting to be entertained, and I was. For 10 rounds, I was... I was laughing. I was watching. I was like, oh, he's he's coming back. Nate Diaz is that kind of a fighter. He's a character. Jake Paul is giving us these things. So, hey... I'm not mad at the guy. I'm not mad at the guy. And thanks to these things, more money, more audience, bigger fights. So, yeah, this year has been good for boxing. Not putting aside these uh, exhibition fights or whatever the hell they are. There's been good boxing. So, I'm not going to I'm not gonna hate. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's good for boxing? Do you think it's bad for boxing? Drop a comment because my channel is fucking low as fuck. I got like 95 followers. That's sad. My daughter bullies me over her account. She's got like 75,000 followers. Uh, I have 95. Come on now. That's sad. Even her, my ex has more followers than me with her channel. She got like 13,000. I got 95. That's pretty damn sad. But uh, I'm just playing. I don't give a damn. I'm just throwing these videos because I like boxing. So hey, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment drop a like follow me if you can so i could at least reach 100 so i can stop getting laughed at by my daughter anyway that's about it nate diaz is a gangster